Welcome to video number two on Tray Controller Gold version 10. To automate a model railroad, we not only need to be able to control our trains, but we also need to switch the turnouts. So let's have a look how we can create a switchboard and switch the turnouts that are on it. Since I moved to a wonderful but smaller uh, apartment, I don't have room for my larger model railway layout anymore. I only have room for a small bookshelf layout. And I'm currently building it and this is the drawing of the track I'm going to lay. It's a very technical layout, no scenery, it's only about uh, how to control things. This is the layout in a simulation program called EEP. I always like to do that before building uh, the hardware in reality. First simulate it to see if it is going to look nice and if the train traffic is going to be uh, yeah, uh, pleasing. And in this case everything seems to go well. So. Well, let's have a look at uh, train controller, how we can control these eight turnouts that we have here in the middle. This is where we left off in the previous video and we were able to control a train via this train window. Let's click it away now because we are going to create our own switch panel over here of the intended layout. Um, to do that we need to go to edit mode and we can do that via this view menu. There at the left is a big edit mode button. Also here at the top is a small edit uh, button that is always available uh, no matter in which top you are. What I want to do is first enlarge uh, my blocks and that can be done if uh, the top is active, the top of the switch panel is active, I can change the symbol size over here and well we have a very small layout so let's go for maximum block size. Um, what I want to do is delete everything that we have over here. Um, for that we have to go to either the track or the accessory top. Both uh, uh, are used to draw elements on a switchboard. And then we can click uh, uh, a box over here and then hold the shift button and click over here to select everything in between. And I'll simply press the delete button and it's gone. What I want to do is create our layout uh, and lay some track. Well, the easiest way to lay track is use this draw pencil and uh, just start laying that track. Uh, just click and hold the left mouse button and drag. Uh, we have four uh, lanes, uh, so this is lane one and four. And the, we have some turnouts in between. Well, to create turnouts is super easy. Uh, just click and drag a diagonal line and the turnouts are created fully automatic. Isn't that nice? So this is already part of the layout and let me drag a couple more lanes and then I think in just less than one minute uh, that we have it. I'm not sure if I made these exactly in the middle. I don't think so. Uh, that can be changed. Uh, go to select mode and then select everything. Shift click uh, and then I can move it. Uh, this looks more in the middle and then yeah, I, I have of course to uh, close the gaps again. Okay, this is our layout. To control these turnouts we need to give them their DCC address. This address that uh, has been programmed or configured in the DCC decoders that you are using. Uh, suppose this turnout over here has address number 1. 
uh, then we have to enter that address. Go to select mode, then either double click this turnout or right click and select properties. Uh, then you enter in, in this window. Uh, in the general tab, you could give your turnout a name. I personally never bother with it, but it's possible. Uh, more important is the connection in the connection tab. We have to select our digital system and have to enter the address over here. And then we are done. Uh, we can already test it, uh, but not yet because I have not yet connected the digital system. Let's do that right now. Okay, the digital system is up and running. And of course, the first thing to do is to test if my a turnout is switching outside of train controller just in my digital system. So here in the equals I have created the turnouts that I need and this servo motor that we see over here uh, that is the drive for turnout number one. So let me switch turnout number one and see what happens. Well, the servo is running, so this seems to be okay. Hardware test is done. Let's now have a look at a train controller. Uh, we, have, we are still in this window where we are programming the turnout and we can already switch it over here, a test switch. And yeah, I see on the servo drive that it is working, it's connected, so I can now control this switch. In case uh, left and right, or let's say straight and turn out, uh, is opposite of what is happening at this moment, that is quite easy to correct. Just click over here and that reverses the working of the turnout. Uh, so what was straight is now bent and uh, the other way around. Of course, you could also do that inside your DCC decoder, but in many cases, it's just less work to do it over here. Well, I think this, uh, yeah, this is done. Uh, this is only one turnout. We have eight more to go. And if you have a larger layout, you may have 30 or even 100 to go. Uh, but it's not a difficult job. Just don't make any errors with your addresses and you're all set. Can we drive trains now? Yes, of course we can, because I can switch all the turnouts uh, over here. Uh, when uh, Once I have programmed them, I get out of edit mode. And now I can switch each and every turnout here to create a route. Uh, but I have not placed a train yet. Uh, I can drive my trains manually, but for automatic driving, yeah, we need to add something which is sensors and blocks. And that will be the subject of the next video. Maybe see you back there. And in the meantime, have fun. <laughs>